Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Simon. Welcome to another episode of Lucifer Season 2, episode number 3. Um, Lucifer has seemingly made amends with his mother and has invited her to stay uh, until, you know, she is able to, uh, I guess, reconcile with everything that's happened. Um, you know, we learned a little bit more about her history with God and Lucifer Um you know, and, and the fact that it's very much just like a dysfunctional family. They they sound very similar to, you know, a human family that doesn't quite get along anymore. Um, you know, the mom and dad have broken up. The kids' relationships with the parents isn't exactly what they, uh, they really should be. And, um, you know, it's just been kind of interesting to get an extra dimension onto you know, the divine part of the show, um, you know, and, and kind of realize that, you know, God here doesn't seem to be very perfect, you know, um, and he may have even sent Lucifer's mum down to hell for not much of a good reason. Um, there's kind of very interestingly strained relationships all over the place, because obviously we know Maze was torturing Lucifer's mother for that whole sort of time that she was in hell which was a long time um you know dr linda has had an apology from um um why is his name suddenly gone out of my head amenadiel amenadiel sorry i don't know why i just brain fired on amenadiel's name um and seemingly their relationship is kind of repaired a little um you know, and, and with regards to his and Maze's relationship, it's still kind of one of those wait and see kind of deals, I guess. Um, but yeah, I mean, this season's definitely started a different way than I expected. You know, I think I was expecting Lucifer's mother to be like the big bad of the season. You know, maybe she escapes. We don't see her for a while, um, you know, and, you know, then towards the end of the season, we'd start to pick up on what she'd been doing, and she confronts Lucifer, and, you know, the typical story goes as it goes. So it's been interesting to see it go differently, with her kind of show up straight away, and just wanting to get, you know, to know her son, and just kind of reconcile. Also being sort of kind of involved in a, a bit of a murder plot as well, you know, with her human form having been murdered. Um, we kind of learned the backstory to that in the last episode as well, so... Yeah, we're going to jump in. Before we do, though, I want to say a big thank you to my Patreon super supporters, Brian, Damon Smallwood, Frank Trammell, Karen Abel, Nightwing0102, Lelouch V. Britannia Mustache, Michael Y., Mr. Greg 89 Nick Walters, Nightwolf37, and Ollie Brown. So without further ado, let's jump in and let's see what happens. You just say the word. Don't you dare stop. <laughs> what happens if wow. he stops? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No, this is not when you want your mother. certainly did not bring any surprises. Oh, she's She's gonna. Nope. Talking about. This just got too weird. Yep. The girl having sex with the devil covered in wax says this got too weird now. Listen, Mum. What you thinking? But I was assisting on a stakeout that went long and I'm really sorry. But I promise you, I will make it up to you, okay? Trixie. <laughs> How? Chocolate cake. Double fudge. Your favorite. You're lucky I like you. <laughs> she says to her own father. It looks like the highest concentration of accelerant was placed, well, here. Oh. They burnt off his gracious, gracious genitals. I mean, I've heard wow. of pants, but this really brings new meaning to the term fire. <laughs> Wait, I have more. Smoked Robinson. Weekend of Bernie's. He's running bush. Oh. Oh, my good. God. <laughs> no. Well, still, that's a pretty good lead. Yep. Do not touch. <laughs> Why would you touch it anyway? Crotch. Why would you want to touch his charred crotch? I'm his boss, an inter-office romance is frowned upon here. Well, hardly seems worthy of lighting a man's Johnson on fire. Wow. Wait. He's giving away a lot of information here. Is that how he died? There's something you should see. 
though it may have inadvertently. May? Can you come in here, please? Yeah. As you'll see. Oh, geez. So it was a party trick of his. <laughs> so you could say the punishment fit the crime. He did, didn't he? Mm, he took your dignity, and so you had to take your revenge. There was no other way to get He's not going to have done it. Back. It's a bit too obvious for so it to be him. Me. Did you just I killed him. him. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Well, that took all the. Yeah, time, that, it? yeah. <laughs> it was him then. That did not go how I expected. Yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> shortest the investigation. Now our would-be punishers brought to justice, and the field is mine again. Not yet. Tommy was humiliated. Makes sense why he'd want to kill Nick. Something just doesn't sit right. Detective, you of all people should know how good it feels. Maybe someone coerced him into it. How so? Oh, come now. Maybe he was the one who lit it. Nuts yet. But someone but a shoulder shrug here persuaded him to. Could be just as effective. Okay. There's something you gotta see. Another apology video dropped along with another body. Uh. I know it was wrong. I should have posted that video. She didn't deserve to be humiliated like that. I'm sorry. Someone is helping the victims to punish the abusers. That's my guess. Oh, jeez. So... Again, she didn't know she was being recorded. Bar gags, Amarin. just like the apple. Yeah. But so our killer's paying homage to a bloody sex tape. I'm willing to bet yeah, she killed, killed him, but There's someone encouraged her to do it. Now this, he's upping his game. Maybe some sicko saw both videos and decided to take action. Sicko. What about the head of HR? We don't exact head of HR, she said well, that he was very protective. As far as I'm concerned, these little wankers got exactly what they deserve. I'll see you later. Hey, he'd where are you going? see the videos. He'd be What's responsible for protecting company. Lucifer doesn't see it, but I do. Oh, so you want to protect him? I want her to get what she deserves. At the very least, is a headbutt. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you, maybe. Let's start with our words. Uh, Perhaps as Lucifer's friend, you can talk to him. Express how you feel. He won't listen. But maybe someone else will. Where are you going? Taking your advice. Is she going to see a meta deal? Take care of my friend. Oh. <sighs> Why do I even try? <laughs> because you're an incredible woman. Oh. oh. Dancing at my club. Well, I saw the people on the table smiling, and I wanted to discover what they were so happy about. Oh, is it possible it's the money that I pay them? It's possible. <laughs> but I have to admit, when I started dancing, rubbing up against the other humans, I got a tingling sensation. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Just yet. Excuse me. Thank you. Fireman's carry her out of there. <laughs> That's who your father wanted you to be. Oh, she's about to cut deep. Oh, shit. That really cut deep. Oh, but I... <laughs> Oh, detective, you're here. Did you know that this room collects all the best parts of the internet? The best parts, really? It, it, you got to see this. A, a naked man thinks he can jump on the back of a rhino. Yeah. They get to see everything. They do. I know where the overlap is. HR. Oh, shit. Look at all his wings. His feathers. He's become an alcoholic. An angelic alcoholic. Gives meaning to AA. Oh no. Open up! <laughs> oh, he's. He's hoovering up his. Wing? His feathers? 
Yeah. Which means that none of these people did it. Yeah. Okay, I'm not following. Well, look at Tim there. With the photos of his ugly children. <laughs> They're all hating it. Still hoping Destiny's child get back together. Don't you see? These people still have hope. Dan, I need you to see if you can trace the videos to one person in particular now. We're looking at Lila Sims. Makes sense then why she would. She's gone. I can't believe we had the killer right under our nose. She's That's gone. why she was trying to stop them from Touché, getting Lila. the data. Touché. Well, then perhaps you can explain. What a good son, blindly. Take his father's side in a divorce. Uh oh. What a good she son. does. Sent his mother to hell. Uh oh. Uh oh. What a good son. She seems angry. Stand here, right before me, without a care in the world, plotting to send me back. Oh no. Mom. What? Well, that won't do at all. Am I supposed to talk to her if she's dead? <laughs> Glad you have your priorities in order. But then I don't get how was it Tommy said he killed sense of irony, but killing herself yeah. whilst humiliating a company doesn't fit the pattern. Hey Sharon, can you pull up the video of Lila driving again? Yeah, sure. Pause it there. What are you looking for, Detective? I don't think it's her. To the edge of the seat. She's can you going tighter. There's someone behind her. It's the head of HR. Yes. I was right. This can be deceiving, but that looks an awful lot like a gun, doesn't it? Please, don't make me do this. Please. Yep, yeah, I knew it. Head of HR. There's Head of HR. Oh, goodness me, I should have known. And how to toast this first sign of evil. <laughs> the access he needed to find his targets and free Malala. Oh fucking hell, she's gonna light herself on fire. Why well, I'd rather just get shot in the head. Yeah. If he said to me, pull petrol on yourself or I'll shoot you, I'd say just shoot me, I don't wanna burn to death. Okay, anytime you guys wanna step out and shoot. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Hello, Raymond. Hate to, uh, yeah, <laughs> he wants her gone because if he gets shot, he's gonna die. I like seeing them beg for forgiveness. There you go. Between us is that you became part of the problem, Ray, someone deserving punishment. Yeah, and he enjoys it, whereas Lucifer, I don't think he does. I do. Oh, he's gonna kill himself. We all do. No. Right. Oh, very clever. <laughs> My time on Earth has helped me to realize that father has a tendency to overreact. Oh no! So you're going against I'm getting a sinister they feeling from mother. their mother now. Do they? Is she playing a game? Well, I, for one, am grateful that we're all just in the same room. And there's children, right? They're going to wow. do things. Oh, I'm counting on it. But if you truly want to be with your sons, then that's the price that you have to pay. She has to play being this mother and wife? That's kind of sick on the family. You know? Oh. Money of your life, bitch. I, I choose money? <laughs> Does anyone choose life? I mean, that doesn't vary. Come here. I, I'll give you what you want. Just hold on. I said hold on. Oh, fuck. Okay. So she still has her powers. And she's just murdered someone. Old habits die hard. Oh, shit. What does that mean? She realizes she has power. Okay, so do you want to hear Zuko pairing? He's pairing right now. I don't think you can hear that. Anyway, um, 
So yes, I love that song, Old Habits Die Hard. And I guess she... The sinister feeling I was getting from their mother, which her name still hasn't been revealed yet, I don't think, um, was for good reason. You know, I definitely feel like, though she's probably telling the truth in a way that she does want to, you know, get closer to Amenadiel and Lucifer, she does have an alternative, like an ulterior motive. Um, I mean, you must do. You spend that long in hell having been banished by, you know, your ex-husband delivered by one son and then you know watched over as you're tormented by another um there's got to be something deep down that you know says you're going to do something to get revenge um the the story in this one was interesting again very much relating to lucifer about how you know sometimes your environment makes you who you are and him trying to, I don't know, maybe he was trying to disavow that in the end. Because, you know, we saw that the head of HR guy ended up admitting that he enjoyed seeing people beg for mercy, you know. And so it wasn't just a case of him snapping and, you know, doing it because of some just reason. In the end, he enjoyed it. And, you know, there is an innate, I guess it's always, it's always there. It's just about bringing it to the forefront. Um, and Lucifer as well admitted that he enjoyed punishing people, you know, and, and maybe a little bit of that has come from, you know, the fact that that was the role he was given and he's been in hell for so long. Um, I don't know, but the only thing I was a little confused on was the first person that was accused of, you know, killing, I think was it Nick? Um, the guy was called Tommy and he had admitted it in the interview room. So that led me to think maybe someone had coerced him into doing it, you know, kind of like the, the people who were wronged were being coerced to get justice by the HR guy. So I'm just a little confused about how he admitted to killing him when he didn't admit that he, when he didn't kill him. But you know, it's a small minor point. Um, I still really enjoyed the premise of the episode, you know, Amenadiel trying to hide his condition, I guess. Um, Dr. Linda just again, trying to solve all of Heaven's and Hell's problems without even knowing it is great. Um, it was just a really cool episode, just really fun. And, you know, again, I do feel now that Lucifer's mum is probably going to end up being the big bad. But um, again, it's nice to show that, you know... Not everything is black and white. God isn't all perfect. And even, you know, the likes of Amenadiel is kind of being convinced of that now. So who knows what kind of family war we're going to get here. And also a little note that Lucifer said, Judgment Day is just a couple of years away. Is that just a sort of throwaway line just to kind of be like, you know, a little joke? Or is that actually going to come back and uh, be part of the story? You know? So we'll see anyway, because my cat's getting in the way. Zuko, you're in the way of the camera, buddy. I can't see anything. And they can't see... Well, you can see me, but you can also see your arse. So, goodbye. <laughs> anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you for the next one.